drag it to the corner of the map if you'd like. Um, we also want to maybe uh, uh, enter a north, I mean a scale uh, scale bar. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm working in feet, Rob, and I'm going to go ahead and set my scale to, let's say, 3600, which in on a sheet, on a in inches, is going to basically a 1 to 300 scale. And you won't see much change in the map at that scale. We were at 3,000. Uh, now I'm going to say insert scale bar. And you got many different options of scale bars here. Rotating. I'm just going to pick an alternating scale bar here. And maybe drag that down here. And the default size is 12 on your on your text. I'm going to go ahead and since it's highlighted, I can click this font size and maybe go down to you see it gets smaller. I can right click on there, go to properties, and maybe go down to two divisions and two subdivisions. And instead of adjusting the division value, I'm going to go to adjust division width and say 300 because I know I'm at 3600 and it's going to be 1 to 300. So now 1 inch should equal 300 feet. So I've got a scale bar, north arrow, and now let's say I want to. I can do an insert uh, title here and we'll want to put it at the top and also use this text tool down here and uh, just click the A there and maybe click right here and say uh, 090901 survey and sometimes yeah, you just might not be able to see it I can actually click on there right click again go to properties and you can see what you typed in there you can make some changes or copy and paste some text here uh, that you have from maybe a, a file or a text file or something like that I'll go ahead and leave that like that maybe go to a size 14 font maybe move that over here to the, to the right here so now we've got a map going we've got a, a north arrow a legend I mean a scale bar uh, we don't have a legend, and so we gotta, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the insert again, and we want to say legend. It's going to want to bring in everything. We've got that street map data in there, and it's going to want to bring all the airports in case they're on. Uh, it will make a really large, elaborate legend if you'd like to, but I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of there using that double left arrow uh, button, and maybe bring in my click on the NGS and bring that in and bring the project layer in and then go to next and it's going to give me some defaults here on color and font size. I'm going to go ahead and go to next maybe pick a little 1.5 on the border and make the background white maybe a little drop shadow which will give it a pretty nice effect you can preview it or, or click next here and here's some options. If you had a uh, polygons or or uh, lines here, you could change the uh, the little patch for it. At, at this point, you can go to next and do a little sample scale bar there. I mean, a legend. Go to finish, and there is a uh, there is a there is a legend, and you see a little drop shadow. You can see our our um, our layers in there. I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to turn this NGS file off. And the legend is actually going to update and reflect that on the map. Sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it's amazing how that you can, you know, you can move things around and you can really produce a real cool map. Yep. I went ahead and hit this. Uh, it's a, actually a zoom to extent, which is the, the entire map sheet, uh -huh. uh, not the data frame, but the actual map sheet. Remember working in a map in, in a right, map, like paper space. Yeah, and for CAD mind. folks, it's kind of like paper space, at least from from my perspective. Yeah. So we got a we got a legend and a scale bar, a north arrow, and, and a little title there. Uh, we can uh, maybe at this point turn on uh, some imagery. It's going to want to add the imagery. Let's see if it tries to add it there. So add the, the legend. Yeah, we don't we don't want that. Uh, no, it didn't. Cause I didn't. I didn't add it uh, earlier. So we've got a now we got a map with some aerial imagery, 
center line, some project points. Um, we can uh, maybe go to the uh, actual survey file. I'm going to right click and go to properties. Yeah, when you right click properties again, might, you might not see it on your screen as we're showing you because it's dropping off the viewable area, but it's usually at the bottom after you right click anything. 